I mean, so should we steal it and like run off to Colorado or something? Yeah, let's go. Perfect. Right. I would really like sport mode to just, just stay, stay on. on. Thank you for putting up with me because I know you really just want to see more Susan. You guys don't really want to see me talk about my <laughs> mouth anymore. Um, because I really, let's face it, I look like I'm a little faster. I'm not very entertaining. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jason Woods. Welcome to Chase the Apex. So we are in a 2015 uh, BMW i8 BMW. Got it, Germans. BMW. Um, and so it's about, I think it's a 1.5, 1.5 liter, three cylinder, and it's also a hybrid. It's got about 350, 350 uh, horsepower, or 350 ponies behind it, and it's got about 400 foot pounds of torque. I'm here with Susan. Say hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. <laughs> and Susan's gonna come with me, and she's gonna kind of keep me in check here. So we put it in sport mode. My initial responses are, it feels big. It feels very large. It feels like a large. But as it starts to move, it's quite nimble. When we started the car, I couldn't even hear it. And part of driving is the audible sound. So immediately, you know me, I put it to sport. And because I want to play the paddle shifters, because I like paddle shifters. And I like being able to downshift before a corner, set that engine braking early, and kind of move on. So we're gonna split this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive about halfway. Then we're gonna give it to the rock star here, and then she's gonna give it. And she's gonna tell me what's up, right? She's gonna show me what's going on. So we're just gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna kind of take it through some real twisty bits of canyon, but we are gonna run her, and we are gonna run her hard. Thanks, uh, Jorge, Jorge, for uh, letting us uh, go out and vlog your car. Because I gotta be honest with you. I think everybody that does, gives us a car is kind of insane anyways, because I wouldn't give me a car, but you guys do it, and we appreciate it. Okay, and here we go. So we got a car out of the way, and now we're going to start to move, and I think I'm going to scare Susan a little bit. So I'm going to go a little deep here, yep, perfectly enter. The paddle shifters are really good, really responsive, aren't they? I mean, it's lightning fast. And that matters. That matters in a sports car for this kind of driving. So, in the transition, really, really good. And the faster you go, the more nimble she is, which seems to be like a BMW thing. And we're just going to downshift here a little bit. Oh, God, that sounds good. It really does. It, I yeah. mean, yeah. I didn't expect that when yeah. I got in. Because when I got in, I was like, what, what, what's going on here? I mean, it just... I can't hear anything, there's no experience. But now, in sport, you can hear that. And I think that's, you know, for me, I need to hear the vehicle in order to drive in a spirited fashion. So, I mean, other people are like, no, nah, it doesn't matter. And it's very, very torquey. It's, it's like, it's like really, really torquey. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, I mean, when you get on the gas, it's like, there, it's like right immediate, now. it's on tap. It's more of a touring car, it's because it's not going to plant in those tighter turns the way that It's almost like an everyday supercar. Absolutely, an everyday supercar. Just like every other BMW that I've ever driven is an everyday supercar. <laughs> <laughs> an everyday super car. Not supercar. Super car. It definitely doesn't, it doesn't, it's definitely more comfortable than any like sports car I've been in. And I haven't been in that many, so. 
take it with a grain of salt. But. You've driven a lot of cars, though. Yes. <laughs> Some of them you can't even call cars. Well, yeah. But I mean, so when we talk about that, you were talking earlier, like, you could pop to the shop in it. Yes. You could drive it every day. Yes. You could even commute in it. It'd be good gas mileage. Yeah, it'd be great for a commuter car, actually. Because it's really comfortable. And like I said, it's approachable. It's not intimidating. But it does have that power. Right. When you feel like you want to drive. Which is interesting, because I, I didn't expect it. Like I want to drive. So, so shut up, it, Jason. No, it's there. <laughs> it's there. It's, it's ready for me. I like what I do. That's that runoff. Sound really good. It, that's the runoff where it goes, whoa, 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 you know, that bourbon. It like speaks to you. I was really worried when we started this car mm -hmm. because it looks cool, it's pretty, but I thought, what are we going to talk about if it doesn't have any sound? <laughs> And then we put it in support, you put it in support mode, and it, it like came alive. And all of a sudden it was a different experience. It's true, it's more than a pretty yeah. bobble now. Yes. Okay, so my final thoughts, and thank you for putting up with me, because I know you really just want to see more Susan, you guys don't really want to see me to <laughs> my mouth anymore. Um, because I really, let's face it, I look like Uncle Fester, I'm not very entertaining. <laughs> It's just the way it is. So, but when we talk about this, right, I think my final thoughts on the car, and I think Susan covered that exactly, is that it is super theatrical. I mean, it's it's like, but you have to turn cool on. And I, it's very big brother, and I think she mentioned that. If you don't turn cool on, you can imagine yourself like you're in the Jetsons or something. Now, we're, we're on a road, and this road is awesome because there's a lot of elevation change, there's a lot of camber change, and it's doing just fine. It's brilliant, as a matter of fact. What do you think? Uh, I, think She's like, I think being in the driver's seat is easier. <laughs> I think anybody, I mean, you could watch anybody, right? If yeah. You, I mean, there's been times Eric's like, just put the camera on me and my face while you drive because <laughs> it's like a roller coaster that I don't know if I'm gonna survive. It's a little bit like that. Okay, so what we'll do is, uh, I think we should do this, is get your experience in the passenger seat so that way that kind of validates Eric. What do you think? I, I, I think just hearing about it is good enough. <laughs> I think it's phenomenal. We should do it. Um, it's really fun, and actually, it's uh, it's very educational. I'm getting a driving lesson, even while I'm not driving. So that's Me too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, listen to that. You gotta love that runoff, yeah. man. You know, and I like the paddle shifters. I don't like that I'm not in full control of the paddle shifters, and that'll sometimes do it for me, but you can snap that downshift. But that made it easy for me. They did make it easy for you. But what it does is it upshifts, or for me, a little too early because I want to stay in that power band. But I can see why they did that. That's a good point. That's very valid. Whereas for me, it's like, hey, I want more control. I want to make those mistakes. I want to bang a couple downshifts so I can engine brake. But I might be doing that unnecessarily just because it's a style of driving. And BMW, of course, you know, the Germans, they're like, hey, American, you don't know what you're doing. That's not what this is designed to do. And so we're gonna make this easy on the world because that's what BMW does, right? BMW makes a driving experience. You know, Lotus will say they make, you know, they build cars for the driver. You know, BMW's always said, we build the ultimate driving, driving experience. Yes. Is it the driving machine or driving experience? Driving machine. Okay. And so in that, I think they've done that here. And I, I mean, well done. I mean, it, you, you stated it best. It's an everyday supercar that you can really just do anything in there. I mean, so should we steal it and like run off to Colorado or something? Yeah, let's go. Perfect. So let's put it in drive and then, you ready? I'm ready, let's go. Listen. There you go. And that's really, I mean, I gotta tell you, it's one of my issues with the car. It's one of the things I like about the car, but if I had, if I owned this car, I would never drive it in anything but sport. Sorry, gotta take it out of sport to go backwards. 
Yeah, but see, that like kills the... It kills the mood! It, it does! <laughs> you got it! It killed the mood. But look how quickly it comes back. Indeed. It's A lovely and super car. It is. So my final thoughts are: it's an easy car to love, and it is a super car for everybody every day. Yeah, I think that's pretty really accurate. Think you can get in the car and learn to drive in this car. Well, you're doing much faster. You're going much faster than you think you are. Because I'm over here oh, looking at your sure. speedometer, yeah. and you don't see me clutching my seat <laughs> for my life. So, you know, you're clutching your seat. You think when you're in the passenger seat, but I know I'm going. Hey, I, she hit that turn at 95. You just didn't know you hit the turn at 95. No. And so, what's interesting to me is, like, you can charge it. You can charge a corner, and it just holds. You know, which is really interesting to me. So, now what I don't like is what you just did. Is did you feel that upshift before the corner? Yeah. I would have wanted it to downshift. That way, I would have been in the power band. I did downshift. You did? I did. Okay. You upshift. Like that. Oh, see, it's big brothering you. Yeah. Yeah, it changed. I I told it to do something, and it basically ignored me. <laughs> I think there's some emotion going on in here, and I think it's yeah. very much alive. Yeah, it's alive. They're all alive, aren't they? They are, yeah. She has her own temperament. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. <laughs> <laughs> she might be a little bit fickle. Well, I, I was going to say something very, like, guy-ish. Oh. But I thought, Mel, no, I better not do that because she's driving, and I don't want to die. So, final thoughts. Go out and drive this car. Yeah. Go take it for a spin. Go just test drive it. You'll love it. And you probably will want one. I do. But we already established that I would probably like to have every car that I get to drive. <laughs> It's true. I really think that. I think that if you know what you really want is a warehouse full of press cars that we could just go and go. Yeah. Oh, we're taking this one today. I think that's that's accurate. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't think you'd let them. Actually, the manufacturers actually take their cars back from us, though. Well, I would fight and do the nails. There you go. Yeah. My car. I don't know why, but it's mine. <laughs> but anyone who likes BMW will really like this car. I I think. I think so too. I, I like I like BMWs. I'm a fan. I wear the shirt. I I love BMWs, and I think that this is really a great addition to their lineup. To the lineup, yeah, for sure. And it's five years old. It doesn't feel five years no, old. No, it doesn't. And my car is five years old. It doesn't feel five years old. Yeah. They age well. They really age well. Absolutely. And it would be interesting to drive a 2020 of this. Of the I-8 to see the difference. I wonder what changes. You know, have there been any changes in the shifting? You know, it would be nice to be a BMW. It would be nice to have a mode where the driver could decide the shifting altogether. And but we discussed. We didn't even know if that existed because there's so much going on in this console. It might actually exist, and we just don't know how to find it. Because re the reality is, is we get these cars for an hour or two, right? Right. So nobody ever walks us through them. They're just like, take right. the car. Yeah, there's no pre-flight. Yeah. And so we kind of have to figure it out. True. So it, it might exist, but it would be really great if it were. Yeah, I Obvious think so. and, you know, accessible immediately. And it, right. I would really like sport mode to just, just stay, stay on. on. Thanks so much for watching Chasing the Apex. We'll see you next week.